whatever we are a prisoner to, that is what we will serve. Jim Polito is an influencer in media and opinion throughout southern New England. He has a talk show that airs on iHeartRadio. At the end of each day's broadcast, he quotes Julie Flynn, who once said, Hope is the best medicine. Julie died after a valiant battle with a rare form of cancer. This video will try to expand on Julie's quote and will be based on the biblical phrase, O prisoners of hope, and also on the verse, for surely there is a hereafter, and your hope will not be cut off. I've had the very serious responsibility of officiating at memorial services for dozens of precious people that have passed from this life into eternity. Some of them have battled wicked cancer, like Julie. One of such was a wonderful person and mother, Sue Funk Booth. One thing I mentioned during her service was that if there was no God, then cancer defeated Sue. And if there is no God, then evil wins because there is no hope and no justice. There is a God and his name is Jesus. There is hope. And as the Proverbs verse tells us, that death does not bring to an end the things really worth hoping for, like justice and victory. Justice to those who perpetrated evil and victory over such things as cancer and death. Remember Bob Dylan's song, Gotta Serve Somebody? Not only do we serve either God or the devil, but we also often find ourselves a prisoner of such things as fear. How about our passions like lusts and feelings? What about fame or fortune, popularity, or situations we find ourselves in? We often find ourselves prisoner to other people, to our hatred, having to have our rights, to fairness, and to guess what? Yes, even our own opinions that we want to hold on to no matter what. That brings us to our question, how should we now live in the 21st century? The answer is by hoping in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's look at five reasons for hoping in Jesus with their corresponding blessings, which we receive when we hope in him. The first, and upon which all the other four hinge, comes from 1 Corinthians 15, which tells us that we can hope in the resurrection of Jesus because it really happened. For more information about that, I dealt with that in videos 36 and 37. The second is the fact that Jesus was raised from the dead necessarily speaks of the kind of death he died. Hebrews 10 tells us that the kind of death that Jesus died gives us a solid reason to hope in being fully alive after the death of our bodies. The third is taken from 1 John chapter 3, the first three verses, which tells us that if we place our eternal hope in Jesus, in heaven we'll be like him. Revelation 21 tells us that in heaven there'll be no need for tears, there'll be no sorrow, there'll be no physical pain, and no death. Fourth, and along with other verses, Romans chapter 5 leads us to understand that when we hope in Jesus, getting through the difficult situations of life is a bit easier to endure. It helps to remember that life here on earth is very short when we compare it to all of eternity. And last, number five, we get from Titus chapter 2, verse 13, which encourages us to stop being overwhelmed by all that bad stuff going on in our country and around the world, because part of what we hope for is that Jesus is going to come back and take us from this wicked world. I want to close with a story told by Richard Wurmbrand. Richard is the author of Tortured for Christ. He was a Lutheran pastor who spent 14 years in communist prisons because he would not stop preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. He tells of a fellow Christian prisoner who befriended a man in the cell next to him. This man had been a guard who had persecuted prisoners. After weeks of giving the only piece of bread he received each week to the former guard, and after tearing his already small blanket in half to help keep the guard warm, the Christian decided to tell the man about Jesus. As he started, the guard interrupted and said, I am too upset, as I don't deserve to be here enduring all this. In one sentence, tell me about your Jesus. The Christian responded, My Jesus is like me. The former guard said, If Jesus is like you, then I love him with all my heart. You see, the Christian prisoner had an eternal reason to hope and a reason to share this hope to someone overwhelmed with life. Sometimes we get in life what we deserve, and sometimes, like Julie and Sue, bad things happen that we don't deserve. The one thing we all have in common is that we can, together, 
hope in the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. I did so 50 years ago, and I've never been disappointed. I have a favor. Could you please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video? And also, could you please recommend this YouTube channel to others? Thank you, and God bless you.